Hey there folks, welcome back to Viper Island, your one-stop shop for all things G.I. Joe. Now there's been a lot of buzz about us lately, rumors, whispers, the whole shebang. So we thought it was time to clear the air and set the record straight with a dose of what we do best quality G.I. Joe entertainment and commentary. When you're dedicated to bringing top-notch, fresh content to the G.I. Joe community and you build an audience of passionate viewers, people notice. And when some can't duplicate the same success after years of trying, they often try to tear others down. Here at Viper Island, we're all about delivering the kind of G.I. Joe entertainment and commentary that fans crave. And we're not just talking about the same old stuff that you see everywhere else. We bring you fresh and original content that you can only find right here, along with special reports and exclusive news and commentary that keep you in the loop. We've got multiple perspectives from different generations, so whether you're a seasoned collector or a new fan, we've got insights that resonate with everyone. And who doesn't love a good giveaway? We've got those too. We don't take from our viewers, but we do give back, and that matters. Our Hall of Fame series celebrates the best of the best, and we shine a spotlight on the community and custom figure artists who make this hobby so special, because talent deserves recognition. And if you're looking for some fun, our talk show has you covered with engaging and entertaining discussions, where we bring the conversation to you. We know that our community is passionate and dedicated, and that's why we strive to deliver original content that meets your expectations and keeps you coming back for more. So let's focus on what really matters, our shared love for all things G.I. Joe. We feel that G.I. Joe fans deserve a well-produced show that's just for them. And let's be honest, most of us don't have the time or interest to sit through two-hour group chats with dude bros, and we all want more than rehashed one-minute videos that don't tell you anything new. Whether you're here for the latest G.I. Joe classified series figures, or just to hang out with fellow Joe enthusiasts, we've got you covered. You'll find family-friendly content that takes you right back to the days of Saturday morning cartoons, with a fresh take on G.I. Joe. We don't just unbox toys, we bring them to life. We dive deep into the lore, the details, and the little quirks that make each figure unique. We celebrate what's new, while revealing clues about what's to come. And it's not just about the figures, it's about the community, the shared nostalgia, and the joy of collecting. We strive to create a space that's welcoming, positive, and family-friendly. Because let's face it, the world could use a bit more of that. So if you're looking for a place where G.I. Joe is more than just plastic and paint, where every unboxing is an adventure, and every commentary is a conversation with fellow fans, then you're in the right spot. It's all done with a positive vibe that makes you remember why you fell in love with G.I. Joe in the first place. G.I. Joe classified series figures are not just toys. They're masterpieces that perfectly capture the essence of the original characters we all know and love. With their stunning design, spot-on likeness, and that nostalgic flair that takes us back to the glory days of G.I. Joe, these figures are truly a collector's dream. We know how much our viewers enjoy our unboxings, and we're proud to offer family-friendly content that G.I. Joe fans of any age can enjoy together. Whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, you'll feel the excitement right along with us. Today we're unboxing and reviewing two of the greatest G.I. Joe figures of all time. Get ready for an action-packed adventure as we explore every detail and feature these fantastic figures have to offer. So sit back, relax, and get ready to experience the magic of the G.I. Joe Classified series. Because here at Viper Island, we know what you love, and we're just as excited about it as you are. So thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy! Oh my god, it's Dr. Mindbender! Oh, wow! Oh my god, Dr. Mindbender! Okay, so this one I had on reserve, I believe, at GameStop, and they cancelled the order. Unfortunately, that's happened to a bunch of people. It happened to us with Master of Disguise Zartan. Luckily for us, though, I had pre-ordered two of them, so we only got one, but oh uh, the other one was cancelled, and I haven't had an opportunity to get Dr. Mindbender at all. Oh he looks so cool. That's really cool. This thing is so cool, especially the artwork on the back. I can't believe I'm seeing this. I love, especially with Serpentor and uh, Mindbender with yeah. these opening doors. Those two figures go hand in hand, and the artwork on the back was done by the same person for both figures. Dr. Mindbender was the first amazing looking artwork that we ever got in the G.I. Joe classified line. Yeah, all the others were trash. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. I really like the Cobra Island, the back of the package. That map, that's one thing we're missing right now is more maps. Dex, I think we can open that up. Okay, let me take a look at this. Wow. With the, the monocle? Yeah. That monocle's damn cool. I'm and very the Mars impressed. Mars Industry logo. 
Yeah, the packaging is cool. You are paying for mostly just empty packaging. Here's all hollow. And before we move on, we invite you to quickly do us a favor and smash that like button to show your support for the show and the work that we put into it. All right, Dex, why don't you pop that open? I will pull out this thing. Oh, this looks nice. A lot of plastic used. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Like, look at this. Look at this. That's how it goes. And they're like, let's do plastic free art. It's like, I wonder why. I really like the sleeve on this. This slip sleeve case is really cool. It's just an extension of the box, but still. Yeah, this is easily one of my favorite packaging so far. Like a lot of people out there who were not able to order this or had their orders canceled like we did. I ended up just accepting that this was not gonna come into our collection and just moved on, tried not to think about it. Big thank you to Michael thank for this. You. I just love the artwork so much. This artwork tells the entire story of Serpentor being created. Dr. Mindbender and Destro are going around the world getting all the different parts and collecting DNA from past world leaders and emperors. The entire story of this figure is amazing, especially given the fact that we also got Serpentor to go hand in hand with it. The artwork together tells the entire story. I think it was a great idea to have all of this. It's unfortunate that it's in this big deluxe box that you're paying extra for the box essentially. I think it's some point we can expect that there will be another one released of Dr. Mindbender, probably bare bones accessories and just more, you know, like a retro or vintage version. Because after all, Dex, what do we know about Hasbro? <laughs> they love their repaints. That's true. The skull is so cool when you put the brain in it. It looks so realistic. Okay, so no Cobra logo on the back of his cape. We know this already. This figure's been out for quite a while now, but wow. The detail on his gauntlets is really nice. Yeah, quite the odd type of figure, right? This guy does not look like an army figure in any way, shape, or form. I did not have Dr. Mindbender as a kid. I was always fascinated by this weird scientist type of guy. But nevertheless, he was always one of my favorite figures just for that reason. He's a very mean type of guy, no nonsense, and you don't want to mess with him either. He's got a very evil streak. But I gotta say, the purple and black works really well. What do you think, Dex? Yeah, it looks really nice. I love these little canister things that you put things in. So cool. And he's got a tech device on his monocle as well. Nice little detail. They could have just made it a monocle. One of those modern touches of trying to make it better. Something we didn't see with Tiger Force Dusty. Now this looks very similar to the original Dr. Mindbender, but there are some little modern changes like I just said. And that's what classified collectors kind of want, is just give us something we're familiar with and then make it as good as you can make it. There will come a day where we get a different iteration of Dr. Mindbender, that's for sure. There's so many different ones. I wouldn't even mind the winter version from G.I. Joe the movie. That would be cool as well. Yeah. This one has great paint apps throughout the whole thing. The mustache. There has been an issue with some black paint smudges on his shoulders from the cape. I guess the dye of the cape has leaked onto the plastic of the figure and on the shoulders there's some rubbing there. This one has a little bit but not much and it's not very noticeable. I've seen some really bad versions out there. Yeah, this is a memorable looking figure for sure. Dr. Mindbender goes well with the bats, right? Now Scrap Iron's coming out. The whole picture on the Cobra side of things is really coming together very nicely. And I think that's what excites people about the Classified series, is getting bigger, more detailed versions and better articulated versions of the characters that we grew up loving. Dr. Mindbender has pinless joints, an extremely detailed head sculpt with yes. wrinkles, bags under his eyes, that monocle with the tech device. There's even a magnified eyeball behind the monocle just for accuracy. I think it's a perfectly executed figure, especially in terms of the classic look. I really like this figure. Yeah, in terms of Dr. Mindbender, this is exactly what I wanted and what I was always hoping we'd get in the classified line. So it's definitely a home run. It's just unfortunate that it has put so many hoops in front of everyone to jump through just to get it, and in some countries, it's near impossible to get this figure. But at the end of the day, nostalgia rules, and this yeah. is a great Dr. Mindbender. This is the Dr. Mindbender that I remember. But it's time for the verdict. Dex, this is where we say if you're going to buy it now, wait for a sale, or pass. Is Dr. Mindbender a buy it now, pass, or wait for a sale? Probably a pass for me. Oh yeah, I'm sure. No, it's buy it now. Yeah, buy it now for me as well. This one is one that if you see it and you don't have it, you want to get it right then, you don't know when you'll ever see it again. 
And will it ever be on sale? You're rolling the dice on that one. I Probably not. Probably not, unless you're very, very lucky at some point. But as we've seen, there have been a few chances to get this, but if you didn't get it already, chances are you're SOL. So a big thank you to Michael for this, because yeah, we would you. not have this figure ever without Michael sending it to us, because we missed out and he had an extra one. So thank you so much, Michael. Yeah, very generous. You. That's awesome. Oh. Very hard to get out of the box, <laughs> but worth it. Oh, the holy grail of G.I. Joe classified. Serpentor in the air chariot? Are you kidding me? Dex, what do you think of this? Awesome. Can we open it? <laughs> yeah, I think we should, right? But first, let's just admire the box. Yes. Oh my god. Now you're paying more for the box. At least the box was well done. The back of the box is Dex is holding up here. I mean, that's straight fire. That is amazing looking artwork. Really well done. And then flip it around, Dex. Let's check out the front. You got Serpentor's snarl there. He looks very powerful and intimidating. And before we move on, we invite you to quickly do us a favor and smash that like button to show your support for the show and the work that we put into it. I can't wait to pop this open. First of all, big thank you to Michael. This is crazy. Now, we had an order for Serpentor pre-ordered through GameStop Canada, but unfortunately, by the time this came out, it was right when I was at my sickest, and they only hold things for 48 hours, as I found out after the fact. So, uh, yeah, they sold mine to someone else. Luckily, Michael came through with the save, and wow, I was just already accepting that I wasn't going to get this, and honestly, when you're sick, whatever. It is what it is. This is the last thing you're thinking about, but... Wow. Oh. Oh, oh my. There you go. Check that out, Dex. Okay, okay. Let's... Whoa. Oh, the glimmer? Okay. okay, that looks pretty damn good. Okay, I gotta check this out for myself now quickly. Whoa! Oh. Serpentor looks insane. Oh, the gold is... is the first thing that's popping off to me. There's a lot of gold here. Now, early waves of classified had some gold, mostly highlights and elements and knee pads, things like that. A lot of fans didn't like it, but it really works with Serpentor because it's what we expect. The cape is made of fabric. Wow. Oh. All right. Let me see what else is in here. This Serpentor figure looks insane. Okay, so. Yep, the snake comes off the head. Oh my. All right, so I wasn't sure how this was going to be set up because I haven't opened one of these yet. But uh, you can pull the weapons and accessories out of the... That's pretty cool. Now, I think you can also open up the top of the box and pull the plastic out. But in the meantime, let's check out the accessories. The belt on him looks amazing with the little snake dude on it. All the armor on him looks futuristic, but awesome at the same time. His big staff with the snake on it, like the golden snake, I just love it. That sword, it looks like a He-Man sword. Now he comes with a snake spear. This snake spear is exactly what Serpentor used to try and kill Duke. And what's cool is it's actually bendy. His eyes are red and it just, it looks so cool. Now he does come with two cowls. We'll get into all of this. One of them is attached to him. The other one comes in two pieces. Now to get the air chariot out, it's packaged inside the thick box here on the back. Slide it right out. And there we go. Inside the packaging, let's just rip this right open. So in here we got his machine guns, a lot of different ammo pieces. Here's the smaller claw. Okay, and while you're busy with Serpentor decks, I'm gonna put this together. This looks like it's gonna- Actually, um, I think we've only got a switch. <laughs> All right, let's switch. You can take that. First of all, I gotta quickly admire this entire snake thing with the opening mouth. Do you need the instructions, Dex? No. Nah. Okay. <gasps> the, there's a gun inside of its mouth. Yeah. It pops this is a peg uh, in there. This looks pretty nice. This is a heavier classified than we're used to. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's how you put it in. Oh, you got Very to slide nice. these in. The Cobra logo on the side of it, it has a crown on top of the Cobra. Oh yeah, it does. That's cool, good noticing. It's like a King Cobra logo. So the air chariot is beautifully designed and sculpted. 
It comes in two pieces that need to be combined, and then all the extra accessories as well. All of it stored in the back of the box behind the figure. As for Serpentor himself, this guy is almost seven inches tall. The figure has an imposing presence, as he should. After all, Serpentor was larger than all the other G.I. Joe characters that were regularly featured in the cartoon. And the Joe team's lead designer said that Roadblock was going to be the base for this Serpentor figure until the outfit came into play and they realized that's just not gonna work. So as a result, Serpentor is the largest classified figure to date. And as we first told you earlier this summer, Back in June, Serpentor was this year's PulseCon exclusive. We recently asked you guys which new figures you were most looking forward to out of all the PulseCon reveals. There were over 1,300 votes cast. 50% of you said that you were most looking forward to Serpentor. And for good reason, this is a very solid figure. The cloth goods cape, very much appreciated. We need more of this. And uh, it has snake scales all over the cape. Plus, he's got snake scales all over his body as well. So let's quickly whip through this. For articulation, he's got pinless joints, double-jointed elbows and knees, butterfly shoulders, and he has a torso-cut ab crunch, so sort of like bazooka. He has a thigh swivel behind the armor, but he does have a boot swivel as well, so that's great. As for the design, there are swappable cowls. There's a vintage-inspired cowl attachment, just like the cartoon, and a modern-looking cowl similar to the comics. And if you look closely on his hands, the glove guards are actually snake heads so another nice little subtle touch as for accessories there's not a lot but the stuff that he does come with is exactly what you would want serpentor to come with there are two claws one retracted one with the blades out the claws with the blades out really remind me of shredder from the ninja turtles he also has a staff with a snake head on top as well as a sword great for serpentor the snake spear as well as a big giant cobra snake coiled up now in terms of the air chariot, the snake head has some articulation in the mouth. It opens to reveal a laser blaster like Dex said. The vent on the back spins around. There are footrests which do have pegs so you can rest them on there very nicely. He's gonna look very regal. Oh, and here's something new as well. His hands are not as tight as many of the other figures that have come out recently. Here's what he looks like all suited and booted up. Love it. Now I never had one of these as a kid. I always wanted Serpentor. A friend of mine had him. But wow, to have your own is very cool, especially in six yeah. inch form like this, and it actually was, seven inch. Yeah, it was so fun to build. That's a flashback to when most of us were kids, building those G.I. Joe vehicles. You had to put it together piece by piece. Dex, you had a good time doing this? Yes. What's your thought overall of Serpentor think, and the Air Chariot? I think that honestly, it's the best action figure of the year, not just G.I. Joe. It is so cool. It's just insane. You might be right about that. Wow, this is very well done. There's probably a lot of detail here. Yeah, there are stands on the bottom as well, yeah. the landing gear. Also, it's good for photos, so it can give the illusion that it's floating because you can't really see the ones on the bottom. What is it like as a kid to see something like this? This figure is awesome. The articulation on even the vehicle is amazing. I think they should make more vehicles like this that aren't Hazlabs that cost so much money because this Yeah, we is don't need that. Fun. It's not necessary, yeah. you're right. Because this is cool enough. Well done. The presentation of this is amazing for Serpentor. It's exactly yeah. what you want. The handlebars are solid, but they're still a little flexible, so you can work with it. I had no trouble getting Serpentor's hands onto the stand, but you might want to bend his knees when he's standing there. It gives him a better pose, so he's not leaning all the way over. There are portholes for the machine guns to attach. You can take those off as well and have him just holding the machine gun, firing it away. Oh, there's fangs in oh, the, the mouth. fangs drop down, too. Wow, pretty cool. The vents on here are awesome. The fangs just drastically change it, but then with the silver on it, it like pops out when you're looking at it. But it's time for the verdict. Dex, this is where we say if you're going to buy it now, wait for a sale or pass. Buy it now. Yeah, didn't even have to wait there. Most of them I've been saying like wait for a sale or pass, but this one's by now. Yeah, Serpentor in the Air Chariot, definitely a keeper. Might be the best classified figure of the year. We're gonna put that out to you guys. Let us know. There's a lot of good competition out there. Storm Shadow, Tiger Force Outback, Spirits, maybe Dr. Mindbender, Stalker even. Let us know in the comments if you think that this is the best figure of the year or if it's something else instead. Best figure of the year, in my opinion. Yeah. This Air Chariot 
it makes it unfair. It wins by a landslide, in my opinion. There you go. You heard it from Dex himself. And this sword, I think this looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Definitely got to agree with you. This is in the buy it now scale. This is a figure you don't want to miss on. I mean, I thought that we were going to miss on it, but Michael came through with the save and... Here we are with Serpentor and the Air Chariot. Kind of blowing my mind here. If they had to add one thing, in my opinion, it would probably be a second head, like when he's saying the Cobra Law thing. Oh, for Serpentor? Yeah. Like a know, yelling for, face like, or something? Yeah, like a uh, battle cry. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Definitely. Well, you know what? We might see that down the road. I don't know if we're going to see the Air Chariot again. This might be the only time we see it. Serpentor will be back, just in a different color. So, Dex, out of the two cowls, which look do you prefer? The one piece or the two piece? Yeah, the two piece, for sure. I agree. By far. Definitely. The, the, with the one piece one, his head is just like stiff like this. So like a statue. It's like, it can maybe move like that, like barely at all. Except with this one right here, you can like just angle it at any direction. You can actually move it down or up. And it has lots of flexibility with this figure. Yeah, and the cap comes off easily. So we already knew that this figure would be a huge hit. When they announced that it was only gonna be a single run production, we thought, this is insane. This is the most popular figure that people are waiting for. And we had polls to back that up. We knew that for a fact. And despite that, they still only did a limited run production first. We raised a big stink several times here on Viper Island. And yeah. put the pressure on Hasbro because if we have an audience this big, you might as well use it to the advantage of collectors. And the thing I love about this is that it's perfect timing with the 40th anniversary, so there's a lot of significance with this figure. It's gonna be memorable. Also, a tie-in with the 35th anniversary of G.I. Joe the movie. He was one of the big stars of that movie. Overall, it's an outstanding figure, and it might be my favorite vehicle so far in G.I. Joe Classified. I know there's not a lot of competition for that. So far, it'd be the Ram Cycle, I think. The Air Chariot overall looks exactly Exactly like a blown up six or seven inch version of the original air chariot from back in the 80s. That's a win. So great job to Hasbro on the quality of this, especially with all the decorations on the side and all around. And the armor especially. Everything was just well thought out, well designed, definitely a big win. The machine guns could be used for someone like rock and roll or roadblock. Oh, yeah. Even if when they release Tunnel Rat, Copperhead, all those guys, they could easily be used for it. I just think this figure is probably the best one of the year. I agree with you, Dex. The machine guns remind me of Roadblock. It's the first thing I thought of when I saw them. They would go well with him, but in the meantime, this is a very memorable set. Yes, it is. Very. So Dex is having a great time with this. The box itself has shelf appeal. This is definitely the best artwork that we've had in the entire classified series. The closer I look at this, hard to beat. This is outstanding. Whoa, okay, that looks pretty damn good, Dex. What do you guys think? This figure's awesome. Huge thank you to friend of the show, Michael, who sent us this. This is an extremely generous and wicked surprise. Yes. Wow. Serpentor in the Air Chariot, number 57 in the classified line. But on my ranking, it's probably around number one. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's a letter that came inside. Hey guys, just a little gift for my fellow hat wearing Joe fans. Nobody has this and I thought it would be awesome to wear during a video. Keep up the great work and thanks again for all the support you continue to show me. Yo, Joe. This is from Chris. Whoa! Oh my god. What in the world? Oh my god. I've never seen this before. It is a G.I. Joe, a real American hero hat. Oh my god. That looks cool. And it snapped back. It's got the G.I. Joe branding on it. Wow, yeah, this is a new era hat. Oh my god. And it has the G.I. Joe logo on the side too. Don't know if you can see that. This looks so cool. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. I've never even seen this. That's insane. Is this insane. Like one of those things where you have to pay to make your own custom one and no, no. one else can have them? No, that's what a real hat, that? dude. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. Wow. Oh now you guys can check out Chris on Instagram at Five Star Joe's. He's Cincinnati's five star barber, the official barber of the Cincinnati Bengals team for the NFL. He cuts the hair of almost everybody on the team, all the big superstars, even the legends come back and see him. They even have the G.I. Joe logo inside. Whoa, As that is a very it. detailed hat. Do oh you mind if I check it out? Yes. Now, I'm a big fan of New Era. I'm a big baseball fan, so I've got 
my team the twins plus a whole bunch of other hats that we feature on the channel here but wow yeah this is great can't beat new era that's amazing holy have you guys ever seen this before got the gi joe logo right on the side as well as on the inside of the rim wow that is so cool congratulations oh dex Yes, that looks thank cool. You. Ooh, that's looking pretty good, Dex. Oh, nice. That looks really good. Wow. Right on. This looks so nice. That's cool. Might be cooler than a figure, I'm sure. Yeah. Wow. Great job. Thank, thank you so you. much, Chris. That looks great on you, Dex. Yeah. My name is Liam. You can follow me on Instagram at Viper Island. For all things G.I. Joe, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you want to support the show, smash that like button. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Have a great day and yo Joe.